I have done 7,500 open heart surgeries. For eight consecutive years, I was the top doctor in Phoenix Magazine. I remember as a medical student going to a convention and I ordered liver. And one of the cardiologists said, you can't have liver, it has lots of cholesterol. So the focus from then on was all about cholesterol. And cholesterol was the cause of heart disease. But I began to notice that my patients, most of them had normal cholesterol. Even if they came back for another operation, they had normal cholesterol. Statin drugs, we were told that they would prevent heart disease. We were told that they would reverse heart disease. When I was in medical school, if an article appeared in a medical journal, it was gospel. There is now a website called Retraction Watch, which publishes retracted studies every day. Even the editors of the major journals are discrediting everything. And last year, between 250,000 and 400,000 people died from medication errors. And all this in an era which we're calling evidence-based medicine, in an era of what we're calling precision medicine, we have cholesterol drugs. The commercials on TV say 36% reduction in heart attack risk. Well, the actual real reduction is less than 1%. But I was still taking a foolish risk with my cholesterol. Anyone with high cholesterol may be at increased risk of heart attack. Diet and exercise weren't enough for me. I stopped kidding myself. So what did mainstream medicine do? The answer is money. They asked the question, what medication can we give to make another billion dollars? It's not your doctor's fault. Every decision your doctor can make is monitored by somebody. Your doctor has to follow the rules. If I had a patient who came in with elevated cholesterol and I did not prescribe a statin, I'm actually guilty of malpractice by today's standards. The most common thing that happens in America today is high blood sugar. High blood sugar is the primary driver of heart disease, of Alzheimer's, of arthritis, of our other degenerative diseases. And so it's all about sugar and almost nothing to do with cholesterol. The key to good health is to control your blood sugar. I saw so many people of my parents' age who couldn't do anything. I wanted to be able to do things with my family. I wanted to be able to go on an adventure. I wanted to be able to hike. I wanted to be able to ski. I wanted to be able to water ski. I have now completed 10 full Ironmans. I have won five of them. I've qualified for the World Championship five times in Kona. As we get older, they say that sarcopenia or muscle loss is a natural process of aging, but it's a natural process of being inactive. I can do things, and that's what life is about. In spite of the fact that I'm old, I'm living young.